So you head out. 
his drama, but he's rich. He pissed off one year, your girlfriends. So he called in. He paid the bill for your guys' dinner. It's free. <laughs> Amazing. You're like, hell yeah. Great. So then you guys go out to one of your, or no, you guys go out to a new lounge, a new really swanky cocktail lounge. You walk in, you're already feeling a little tipsy, so you're like, just like the music's feeling really good. You're like, yes, life is good. You have a couple cocktails there. You feel it out. We get a couple boys, girls, whatever you like, maybe both. And you guys are like, okay, love it here. But let's go to like the place that we love where we can dance and have a good time. So you guys leave this Mikey cocktail lounge and you go to um, your favorite bar that you guys always go to. You get there. More of your friends are there. I took an intermission. Now I forget where I was. Um, oh, you're at the bar that you guys love and you always go to. Um, and you see other friends. You're like, oh my god, it's Joe and Chelsea. Like, hey guys. And you're so excited to see these people. You realize too that your favorite DJ is playing, and he's just like killing it with the songs. It's exactly what you and you, your girls love. And you guys are just dancing your little butts off and dancing the night away. If you're single, and guess what? Even if you're not single in this fantasy, you're allowed to be. You meet a really cute guy. Maybe you kiss. Maybe you don't. It's your world. You decide. Decide who it is. Maybe it's, maybe it's Miles Teller. It's whoever you want it to be, okay? Envision them. Live it up. <laughs> so you kiss your boy, or maybe you don't, or whatever the case. And after that, your friends that you saw that you met there were like, oh, we come back to the house of grabbing people. And you're like, okay. You go back to their house. It's just chill. It's just You guys are kind of winding down. You honestly have been having so much fun and you've been like sweating too that you're just tipsy at this point you don't feel like sick or anything like that you decide you want to go home you take an uber you go back get in a bed you already had a water waiting by your bedside because earlier you was smart and you go to sleep you took your makeup off though and you even washed your face and moisturized go you you go to sleep, you wake up the next morning, and you sleep until like 10, and you're like, oh, okay. You're like, actually, I don't feel so bad. You sweat out all the alcohol last night. You just, for whatever reason, the stars have aligned, and you feel good. You're like, this is great. You're like, I have all this energy. Not really all this energy, but like you feel good for a Sunday. Not too anxious or anything like that. So, you decide to get up, make yourself some breakfast, right before you're about to start cooking. Just eggs, something casual. One of your girlfriends texts you and they're like, do you want to do a brunch? You're like, and she's like, oh, I'm like in your neighborhood. You're like, actually I do. So you go, you walk to meet her at this cute little brunch spot. You get some like really slamming eggs, Benny. Maybe a mimosa, maybe not. Whatever you want. Maybe it's just the best juice or the best smoothie and it's like, mm, so satisfying. You have your brunch. You 
motivational stuff and you're just sleepy because you've had a you've had a day right you walked you brunched and you just drift off peacefully to sleep knowing you had an amazing balance of 